around the same time that we were learning that several uh, Antifa far left extremists were being indicted on RICO charges, we also got this news. Proud Boys leader Enrique Tario, ex Proud Boys leader, sentenced to 22 years for January 6th riot role. And that role was he was texting people, cheering them on. That's it. This is mm -hmm. freaky, man. Look, if you want to argue someone incited someone else to violence, like, what do you get for that? A couple years? If that, depending on the, the, extra, uh, the seriousness or nature of the crime. Charles Manson, for instance, got life for inciting those guys to go F it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, telling people to go murder yeah. somebody. He, didn't say, he just said, go F it up. And they took that to mean, okay. So they went and then mm -hmm. they ended up killing these people. And they're like, nope, Manson incited it. Manson's going away. I don't, I don't trust any of these charges. And Rick Itario was not there. This is insane. Here's the story. They say he's uh, been sentenced to 22 years for his, in prison for his role on January 6th. He was one of six Proud Boy leaders to be charged for conspiring to stop the certification of the 2020 election. Tario's originally scheduled hearing was postponed, blah, blah, blah. They wanted 33 years. He got 22. Uh, let's, uh, I want to, they, they highlight a few things. And also, they gave a whole bunch of other dudes 15 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. Biggs got uh, 17. Tario was convicted for obstructing an official proceeding, conspiracy to prevent an officer from discharging their duties, obstruction of law enforcement during a civil disorder, and destruction of government property to the value over a thousand. Tario wasn't at the actual Capitol riot because he'd been arrested days earlier and he'd been told to leave the city, so he did. Apparently, he went to D.C. instead. Prosecutors say from a hotel outside of D.C., Tario directed his Proud Boys to attack the Capitol without him. Tario's attorneys have said he wasn't in contact with any members of the organization during the riot and pointed to Nordian and Biggs as being the orchestrators of the riot. Further, they said, participating in a plan for the Proud Boys to protest on January 6th is not the same as directing others on the ground to storm the Capitol by any means necessary. And that's the issue. Apparently, that's it. He wasn't there. There was no actual plan among any of the Proud Boys to do anything. They were unarmed. Many of them just did dumb things. And if you riot... Yeah, you write, especially at the Capitol during the electoral vote count. I think you're, you're, you're gonna, you you're get some serious charges, but like what? A year, 16 months, maybe mm -hmm. for knocking down barricades or smashing windows. I do think it is fair to say it is personally offensive to smash the windows of our Capitol building. You know, man, I, I look to American history and all the stuff. I reject and, and despise the corruption, but it is amazing to go to D.C. and see all the all the art and all the history. And people smashing stuff and bashing mm -hmm. windows and trying to break their way in. Really, really bad. I say criminal charges. And we'll be, we'll be really harsh. Real, let's, let's be really, really harsh. A rioter who does this should get 18 months. Oh, well, they, that, that, and they've already that, served that, That's time right? served. Okay. They've already been there. Free to go. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. You, you look at these guys who, uh, this guy burned down a police station in Minneapolis. He gets four years. Mm -hmm. You look at some of the, 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 what is it, the Molotov cocktail uh, lawyers. What do they get, a year? I think 22 years they're ending they're, they're effectively ending these dudes lives yeah i mean that's something tario said today when he spoke he said you know <clears throat> he's 39 he said please don't take my 40s from me i would love to get married and have children and you're going to be, he's not gonna come out he's like what 60 uh it's it's sad it's it's sad to see someone have to be the scapegoat i mean that's what the I u.s just, government has done to him i'm just gonna i'm, I'm gonna play the the, the the time travel game again because i love this game Let's go back to 2017, and I want you all to imagine going to one of your friends and telling them, in 2023, six Proud Boys will receive multi-decade sentences in prison for what the government describes as an act of domestic terror to overthrow the seat of government. And they would laugh harder than anyone's ever laughed, and they'd say, you're a nut job. The, the guys singing in the in the bar mm -hmm. and marching around in polo shirts and doing, what do they sing, like Aladdin or something? Proud of your boy or whatever That's it was? That's their slogan. Seriously? Mm -hmm. You're out of your mind. Now look where we are. Mm -hmm. Well, there, uh, go ahead. There was one guy who uh, didn't get charged who was in the Capitol that day, and that was Sergei Dabidim. And he was actually a Ukrainian Azovite soldier who happened to find himself in the Capitol that day. And uh, some photos were uncovered of him this week by Laura Loomer. And it just, I find it crazy that you have Ukrainian spies that are in our Capitol infiltrating our seat of government and they're not charged. They're allowed to come to the US. They're allowed to go protest in Orlando this week with all those guys. They're allowed to go back to Ukraine. But then we have, you know, American citizens that weren't even there and they're getting 20 year sentences. So this is interesting. Laura Loomer posted this. She says, I've exclusively confirmed the FBI identified Ukrainian operatives and neo-Nazis were at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th and even questioned J6ers about Ukrainian spies during interviews with the FBI. 
The New York Times, uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, this is a daily dot, not the New York Times, uh, said why Ukraine is now being accused of secretly orchestrating the Capitol riot. Can I just, I want to I explain to you what they do. It's one thing for Laura Loomer to be like, hey, look at this dude who is Ukrainian spy who appears to have been at the Capitol. Isn't that something crazy? What do they say? Ukraine is now being accused of orchestrating the Capitol riot, which is a massive <laughs> leap from what Laura Loomer said. Mm -hmm. This is how they try to debunk the narrative. Yeah. They create a conspiracy theory that no one brought up mm -hmm. and then claim it's obviously insane, right? Yeah. Here's the tweet from Laura Loomer. She says, during the private interview with America Shaman, the FBI asked him how he knew a Ukraine operative who took a photo with him the day of J6. Chancellor didn't know the guy. And the FBI confirmed the Ukrainian Sergei... How do you pronounce his name? Dibinin. Dibinin? Something like that. There's three Ys. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, was a Ukrainian spy who was affiliated with the Nazi Azov Battalion. This means the U.S. capital was penetrated by Ukrainian spies. Well, I don't know about spies, but at least a spy. And the U.S. government and FBI have still not arrested these people or made the public aware of the foreign penetration. It's an act of war by Ukraine against the United States. And the U.S. government has sent $200 billion to Ukraine in the last two years. The CIA is funding a color revolution in the United States via Ukrainian Nazis and American Nazis who are being recruited by the CIA, et cetera, et cetera. I do think a lot of this is a bit of a stretch. I think there's a, there's a fair question of this does look like the same guy. Are we absolutely sure it is him? Is well, the they question. said that the FBI and the CIA asked him about this guy being a Ukrainian. Right. So, I mean, make of make of the, you know, extrapolation what you will. But the fact that this guy was in our capital when all these other people are being charged with insurrection... What do you call that? That is, I mean, that is at its core an act of war. Mm -hmm. If there was Chinese spies doing that, what we, we we know what we would call that. But because it's Ukraine and Ukraine is good, we have to just sit here and accept it. Yeah, he just wandered in. He was a tourist. There's he couldn't have been there for any other reason. Nothing could be malicious. I mean, that's this is the question about all of January six. Which is like we know the FBI had informants from Proud Boys or Oath Keepers or different groups. We know that they had people on the ground that day. We know that the mayor of D.C. and Nancy Pelosi were offered uh, to have additional security and support of the Capitol, and that was turned down. So if the government intelligence communities knew this could potentially happen and it was such a big deal, why didn't they stop it? Why did they let it happen? Uh, it, for me, that's just evidence that it wasn't. I mean, my one of my favorite lines from the opening statements for the Proud Boys trial was uh, one of their lawyers, can't remember who at this moment, said, you know, she was reading these texts where these guys are saying, so what time should we meet up in the morning? Where, where are you going to be? Like, they, they didn't have a plan. And she just said, this group couldn't organize a group order at McDonald's. Like, they did not plan an insurrection. They did not try to overthrow the U.S. government. But I think ultimately, that's the narrative that, you know, our intelligence community really needed to be the case. That's why they didn't intervene when theoretically they should have if they knew it was going to happen. I do think things are going to get a lot crazier in 2024 i think it'll be more heavy-handed on the, on the side of the left seeing these uh these far leftists be criminally charged with domestic terror in rico good interesting they're criminals who stormed a government facility and firebombed buildings houses shadow cops yeah they need to be locked up the rioters in front of at january 6 who are smashing things and trying to break their win yeah they should be criminally charged too but that's what 16 months for a violent riot and attacking cops not 20 years the heavy-handedness is fairly obvious the fact that Enrique Tarrio, according to the defense, they said he wasn't even in contact with them that day. They gave him 22 years. You know what I'll tell you is really interesting about this is that apparently there was a statement released by, uh, 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 Tarrio gave a statement to the judge saying he regretted his actions. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. And that, um, you know, he, he was remorseful and he shouldn't have done it. He and said he that he's not a political zealot and he didn't even know that you could over, you could change the results of an election. And that, you know, he shouldn't have compared people to founding fathers or anything like that. I think, and then the judge apparently said he doesn't see any reason why Enrique would be remorseful over his actions or actually believe it. Look, man, it's going to get crazier. In 2024, it will get crazier. We're already seeing a whole bunch of videos of people having their homes raided by feds. Now, in 2023, two and a half years later, there's how many people were there at the Capitol? We know that people who wandered in clueless, you know, a few hours after the start of everything were criminally charged and sentenced to a year or more. We know that the people who are storming the front actually get engaged in violence have been criminal charged, criminally charged, but there are hundreds more, maybe even a thousand more, who have not yet been charged, who were there, and we're starting to see these videos pop up. It seems that they waited until the start of the election cycle. Joe Biden just announced, I guess, what he's doing, a $25 million ad buy mm -hmm. for the next campaign. Around the exact same time, the feds are starting to raid more people for January 6th. 
And don't you forget it. There were a lot of media personalities, social media figures who were cheering on what was going on outside of what Enrique Tario did. If they're claiming, I'll tell you this, you guys, if they're claiming Enrique Tario was, was organizing and inciting and encouraging it so that he gets 22 years, think about what's going to happen to the people who are on these alternative social media platforms with thousands of viewers and they were saying more, more, more. Do you think that the, the feds are going to ignore that? No, I think next they're going to come for media personalities. We know that James O'Keefe is being investigated in New York, not necessarily related to January 6th, but I think a large component of what they're doing is going to be the people on social media encouraging it, calling for more and cheering people on. They're going to say we're part of a criminal conspiracy and they were they were inciting and they knew what they were doing, et cetera. Yeah. I, I mean, the this case is precedent setting. I mean, so uh, Judge Kelly, who was, was overseeing this trial, said that, he said this in all of the sentencings, but today he was specifically saying our country needs a peaceful transfer of power and you broke our tradition of the peaceful transfer of power. And so he's basically saying these are the people that ruin democracy, which seems bizarre to me because it seems obvious that they did not actually have a plan to do anything. Yes, they were going to a rally. Yes, they were in D.C. Yes, things got out of hand. They might need to face some charges. But the idea that it was a conspiracy seems weak anyways. And in fact, we have had peaceful transfer of uh, transfers of power since right we had midterms elections nobody rioted at the capitol when congress was sworn in for the newest term like it seems actually fine you want it to be that there is more tension that's that, that's my editorial take on it that there is a desire for there to be contention between uh different political factions and the only solution is we have to lock some of you up right i mean like i've been saying if your politicians can only campaign on vote for me and i will go after your enemies then that just continues the escalation. Which, by the way, is what I think Biden can only campaign on because we're about to have student lo loan debt repayments. He couldn't get those wiped away. We're about to have, I mean, inflation is not great. We have tons of millennials who are saying, I would love to buy a home and I cannot. Biden is not um, a healthy person. He is, uh, polls consistently show people think he is too old to run again. He is the oldest sitting president in our nation's history. I think he is actually very weak going into this campaign. And that's why magically... This timing all lines up where Trump, Trump's indictment, the Proud Boy results. I mean, all of this is happening at once. I got my bribe from the uh, Biden administration over the weekend. I got nice. a letter that says they forgave $7,000 of student loan debt. I didn't ask. I didn't sign up for it. I didn't want it. And they did it anyway because it had been 21 years. The debt's older than 20 years. So they just wiped it off. And just such a bribe. I mean, just disgusting. Well, I thought there was programs like that that have existed for a while, for like a decade at least. There's been programs to help people who are lower income or whatever those circumstances may be to help with student loans. So that's like, I know that's been a big point of contention with people who are now uh, finding fault with Biden's plan because they're like, there's programs to help us. They already exist. We're already doing handouts. He just wants the feather in his cap. He wants to say, I'm the president that did this. Yeah, he, yeah. Wants, he wants the bribe. Thanks for watching this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you all next time.